What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio One Tutorials.com and today we're going to be going over the mixer window in Studio One 3. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be doing a beginner tutorial, going over the mixer window. Um, just I get questions in the comments all the time from people of various skill levels and I really don't spend a lot of time taking care of the beginners and I just kind of want to um, st start doing some videos and create a playlist that could kind of help them out with um, you know, just really basic questions, um, give them a place to go. Um, what? Oh, I still got this up. This is a uh, this is actually a track that I did in 2013 for a um, for a young lady in Miami. This is pretty cool. Um, if you guys if you guys want to take a listen to it, just to hear something that I've done that is not trap and not hip hop. Um, actually, I had, actually had a lot of fun doing that record. But let me get over to the doll let me see so let's just go ahead and pull up i'll go ahead and pull up my template All right <clears throat> so if you follow it you know if you follow my tutorials you know that on my website studio one tutorials.com on the landing page there's four tutorials that a beginner can go to and it can show you how to get up and running making a you know making a record from the template and your and your routing all the way up to you know mixing down and getting a quick master on the track it's um hosted by studio one expert but it's it's probably like one of the best um four-part series as far as getting yourself up and running with the program now the thing about the thing about the mixer window is a lot of people um a lot of people nowadays that are getting into music production they've never touched hardware before see so for me this Th this setup right here it looks it, th this is home like i'm i'm used to looking at mixers you know you have the faders um and then and then you have your inserts up here like everything makes sense but if you're coming over from like um from like fl studio where the mixer just kind of plays like this background role um studio one three could be confusing for you because because the the mixer um interlocks with the arrange window and the arrange window interlocks with the with the with the mixer in in um in such an important way th that you're typically not used to in in a program like fl studio because that uh, program wasn't designed by by music people it was designed by um i forgot i forgot what what that company was but it was like it, it wasn't even supposed to be a serious program and then it wound up getting so popular but with that said in in your mixer window um and 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 just when you're and just when you're dealing with any daw um you want to not be afraid to explore um and not be afraid to just uh i'm gonna open up a i'm gonna open up an empty one and not be afraid to just kind of click things and see what things do so if you press your keyboard command to bring up your mixers right in an empty in an empty plug uh in an empty session this is this is what you're gonna have it's gonna show you this um it's gonna show you this menu here and these buttons on the side basically determine what you will see across the uh, across the bottom of your uh, of your mixer so you can choose to see your inputs and these inputs are linked to the inputs on your audio interface so right now this is showing me my inputs from my virtual audio interface voice meter this will show you your outputs if you want and the outputs are if you have um instruments right so say i was to go to my instruments and put a presence you see how as soon as i drag a a plug in onto the arrange window it creates a lane on the arrange window with a certain color and it, and it creates a channel in the mixer right so that's how that's how the two of these coincide 
okay so let's let's just put in we'll say you, you got three tracks right there okay and you can click your output so you can see so you can go ahead and see your outputs and it'll it, it'll create a um a break in the mixer you can see your trash bin. This is this will be things that you've deleted. A lot of people don't even know that you have that. You could see you could see um, external devices. Like for example, I had um, I had a Roland Phantom for a while, um, and I have my complete control. This will this will show you um, <clears throat> any different um, any different parameters that this keyboard has on it, um, depending if it's um, uh, programmed and mapped with with the software you can go ahead and click midi learn and then twist the knob and it'll and then twist the function and it'll go ahead and do that and also this right here the the instrument um function right here this will show you this will show you your instruments or hide them now this is very this is very important for say something like something like if you're using impact right and then people people always want to know how do I get these pads to represent individual tracks? Is there a way to do it? And it's like, yeah, dude, it's fucking super easy. Um, you have to be you have to be under this instrument section, and then if you click in these different tracks, right? You can you can expose the different channels inside inside that plugin. So this works. This um. This mechanism works for any plugin that is multi timbral, any plugin that has eight outs or 16 outs. So, like contact 16 outs, you can use this, um, machine 16 outs, you can use this, and that's how you get the extra channels to show up. And then, once you have that, you could put plugins on them, um, process them, send them to buses, whatever you want to do. So, that's so that's a very powerful, um, technique and all you have to do to pull that up is click on this is click on this and select expand you want to think about um you want to think about um studio one like you would use file explorer or a word processor you know you're gonna you're gonna get very far by right clicking on things and clicking on the arrows they've did a really good job of making this um program work in such a way that you don't have to think about it in a new way. If you've used a computer, you know if you see an arrow, you can click on it and it's going to expand something. If you click an arrow, it's you know it, it it behaves the way that you expect it to. Um, this button right here, these are your channels. It's going to show you it's going to show you the channels in the um, in the arrange window by clicking on this button. You can hide them, okay. And you can bring them back again like if you highlighted all these and you clicked hide track and you wanted to bring them back you could click them back in no big deal again if you don't want to see all that you don't have to um these these buttons right here these are your types of tracks so say for example i created an fx channel and i created a bus channel and i created a vca channel so say you see how when I did each one of those, each one of these buttons um, popped up and let's uh, let's go to loops and we'll just take it. <coughs> we'll just take a, um, a loop. This represents an audio channel, right? So <clears throat> say say I had a mix and it was just crazy. I had all different types of of. Um, of tracks and channels going on and I wanted to make it easier to see and I got to the point in my mix where you know I've done all my individual processing I I don't want to see I, I don't feel like I need to see any of the audio anymore all you have to do is click this and it's gonna hide that if, if you click this it's gonna hide your instruments okay and then you could just deal with your buses VCA's and effects which is really cool or say you're at the point uh, in creating the music where you're not really concerned with your buses vcas and effects you can go ahead and turn those off no problem um so you really get the, uh, a lot of customization options um <clears throat> a lot of people when they get the 
mixer open uh it confuses them how do i do how do i insert effects you can either click this expand button and this is this is for inserting your plugins like your eqs compressors distortions and things of that nature and then you also have your sends which are for your effects channel now for if if this view if you don't like this view and you want to see it and you and you want to see um it's stacked on top of each other that's no problem all you have to do is click this button right here and then drag this up and you'll be able to see your inserts now if i i i've seen people like oh i can't find my sends i can't find my sends what happens sometimes is the program will have um will have your sends tucked underneath the channel and all you got to do is just kind of hover your mouse right here again move it like move it like file explorer or word processor or excel you see this icon right here you already know what that is click and hold go up a little bit higher to grab it it gets it gets kind of tricky and then boom there you go your sends are back um if you want to narrow these channels you can click this button this will narrow and expand them and then if you want to see the actual inserts all you have to do is double click on the channel super easy so that way if you get into one of these sessions where you've got like maybe 60 uh 60 channels or something you can you can have these real narrow and then as you need to edit them uh double click them i actually i actually use this view a lot because i like to be able to see the meters and be able to see every track in the session um another thing that that slips people up is they want to move they want to try to move their buses um you might make a bus for say you make like a horn um stack or something like that and you want to you want to bus all those sounds so that you can eq them a certain way but the um you're having trouble you're having trouble moving your buses you know over next to the audio channels there is a a setting right here where it's going to give you options as far as the grouping and the visibility of your mixer channel so this if if you go ahead and unclick that it's going to let you move your buses vcas and fx anywhere you want in the um in the mixer view i personally like to keep uh, like the fx channels and the vcas to the right if i'm using them um just because I, I, I really it makes it a lot easier with the organization that's how it is on the actual console that's how I'm, that's how i'm used to looking at it um this this is i also like to expand and collapse of folder tracks which show and hide that way if you're using if you're using a folder it'll it'll hold it'll um get take it out of the um <clears throat> mixer window for you which is also good, but that's when you're using, you know, just a whole lot of tracks. Um, if you have if you have a dual monitor setup and you want to get the mixer out of here, all you have to do is click this arrow. If you want, if you get a session from somebody who's using a dual monitor and the mixer shows up like this and you don't know how to see your arrange window, you just click this button right here. Um, let's see what else we got in here. that is uh that th that's pretty much it as far as like as far as the controls for the mixer window um i know that i know that it, it can be a little intimidating at first when you're trying to you know just just figure your way out around a DAW and you're so nervous you don't want to you don't want to you know destroy your session or do something that you don't know what you're doing but really um you know if, if you just now that you understand what these buttons are and what these buttons do you'll have a much better command of the mixer window and just an overall understanding of what you can do with these controls so again remember keep it simple don't be basic this is concrete zebra with craft master productions don't forget to stop by studio one tutorials.com and check out our new construction kit set called bag up it is a revolutionary product more than just construction kits and we will see you on the next one